Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2 Prosecutor's Path. Last time we left off, we were actually speaking with Dogen and he was actually telling us what really happened though, that night 12 years ago and how he actually had an acolyte with him and you know helped him out and helped him escape and but he also said he met him first time 18 years ago. And apparently he was always always corresponding with Knightley, which was actually Isaac Dover's son. So then we say then it must be Dan Gustavi's son, who, who's a real mastermind, which I have been kind of feeling had a huge inclination toward that, you know, for a while now. But the only person that makes sense is none other than somebody that I wasn't expecting, but also somebody that kind of just showed up in the middle of this case. It's none other than... Where the hell is he? Simon! The, wait a minute. Yeah, Simon! Oh boy! Phone! As soon as I reveal our thing, you're gonna do that? Toll free. Actually, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna wait till... Hold on a minute. Alright, sorry about that. The mess right behind this case. Sent a letter to Jill Crane which deceived Blaze. Furthermore, he kidnapped John and eavesdropped on us. However, of all his actions, the one I have not been able to get out of my mind... ...is how he brought an unconscious Kate to the roof. The giant monster. Huh? Did you just say something? That's right. The key to exposing the mastermind is in the monster's true form. What? Next show. They'll be performing. Okay. And Swift, there's something I would like to ask of you. What? You mean me? You said you recorded the sound of Muzilla spewing flames. Yeah, she did say that, and it was something odd, though. She just kept yelling over it. The sound of Muzilla spewing out fire. This place, you know, became a sea of flames. Well, that's right! I ain't actually seen in my own eyes, though. Could you let us listen to the tape? Sure thing. Um, there we go. The sound. It's as I thought. So, it seems that my reasoning was correct. The true nature of the monster and the mastermind of all my logic and all my logic is coming together. Miss Hart, you said you captured a giant eye in film, did you not? Sure did, right here in this photo. Though we cannot confirm it like this. Detective Gumshoe! Yes, sir! Let us your film analysis device. Okay, but uh why do you want to analyze it, sir? This photo, please! I'm on it! Is there a new clue in this, in this photo? So I guess we gotta take a look look outside the window. I mean, what else is there to look at? Uh, zoom. No! Well... Damn it. No, I meant to zoom, damn it. Yeah, okay, I think I didn't like... Okay. There we go. But, oh, this is... See? Ain't that Muzilla's eye right where I said it would be? I see. I finally grasp. The true form of the giant monster I was becoming I was, I was being controlled by the mastermind. Giant monster? Oh boy. Are you admitting it? You 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 are, ain't you? You're admitting that the mighty Muzilla is real. No, this is not Muzilla. This is the eye of a different monster. Please have a look at this. It's a fl it's a flyer for the Barry Big Circus. Oh, this is precisely. There's there is a rather large balloon at the head of the line pictured here, and why have I not noticed Maximilian and right there on the cover? Whatever. This balloon is a true identity of the giant monster. 
In addition, the psalmist was recorded, which she believes to be Mozilla spewing flames, is the uh, fire for the. It's a hot air balloon, okay. Miss Prosecutor, don't tell me. You're gonna say something that'll shatter my dreams of a scoop. Hot air balloons fly while using burners to heat the air, right, sir? Precisely, Detective. The mastermind used this monster of his to bring Kate to the rooftop of the Grand Tower without using the elevator. Wouldn't that mean that the mastermind is somewhat connected to the circus? He's a member of the circus, Knightley's friend, and Dane Gustavia's son. What? Who had, who had thunk it? An apprentice beast tamer? <laughs> He's no amateur. How? How did I not even see this coming? Damn it, game! It did it again! For the beast he has tamed is none other than his this entire case. Simon Keys! He is the master behind this whole ma uh, incident. M Mr. Keys? Was really behind it all? No way! I don't believe it! I mean, we trusted him! How could it have been a lie? That's just... heartbreaking! Okay... Hmm? Who is it? Hey you! Stop! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> the boy of horns is rather perceptive. The good prosecutor has done a remarkable job. Now that I've heard that, I have no further business here. What? Wait! Dogen! Ooh. Oh boy! Damn it! Where'd he vanish to? Mr. Edgeworth, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. However, that guy. John? That Dogen guy. He's the one who killed my dad, right? Uh, there's no question of a more difficult to answer. However, there's no use in denying the truth. Yes, John. You are correct. He'll pay for this. I swear he's gonna pay. I. I'll make him pay my, my son. John! You mustn't finish that thought! Prosecutor Edgeworth, please pay us no mind. Sir, I put an APB out on a Dogen. All available police units will be searching for him. You heard the man, kid. I don't mean to be heartless, but we need to hurry, too. So, Mr. Prosecutor, where's the mastermind right now? Agent Lang's right. Our top priority right now is should be catching the mastermind. He said he would be practice practicing. He's most likely at the Barry Big Circus tent. But first, Agent Lang, I have a request. A request? What is it? Now that we've identified the giant monster, our next order of business is to capture it. The moment we, ar we arrive at this tent, I need you to relocate the specific item post-haste. Detective, I ask that you perform a follow-up investigation on, on the kidnapping incident. Roger that, sir! Mr. Edgeworth, I want to help out, too! Hmm. In that case, you'll be in charge of calling for backup. If he's truly the mastermind, we may require assistance from a certain someone. I met him so many times that his facade always fooled me into sympathy. He may have got the better of me in, in the past, but this time, I'll settle it once and for all. Holy crap! Simon Keys! This game just gets better and better, and it's way too early for me to stop, so I'm going to continue on, but... Holy crap, guys! I don't know what else to say, but... Hmm. I mean... <laughs> to say you, you... Not to say you should expect it, but... At the same time, it's like... I don't know. It's a damn good twist, though. I'm not going to lie. Let's just save and continue on. We gotta stop Simon. But we gotta... To me, to me, what comes to mind is like, why? Why do all this? If anything, I don't, I don't know, man. We're here at a very big circus. Is this where it's all gonna end? I kind of feel bad for Regina now, but... Uh. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth! Are you guys here for the show? Mr. Keys, Miss Barry. You're a little early, 
I'm sorry, but we're still getting ready. But I'm so happy you came. You remember our promise. Yes, I remembered. You asked us to come and see the show when you gave me you gave me this. I'm so happy you came. Please enjoy yourselves. I'm sure my performance will surprise you, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, it sure has, buddy. Your performance has already surprised me, Mr. Keys. Uh, I think he understands what's going on. Um, but he hasn't performed yet. Regina, please have a look at this photo. Is this balloon a property of the Barry Big Circus? Oh, it is! Did you see it flying around somewhere? It's highly likely this balloon was used by the culprit in the case we were investigating. You know, something is bothering me too. If he used that to carry K and whatnot, and let's say that he's behind the presence, well, the body doubles murder, I should say, here. Why does somebody know it's a big ass, uh, you know, hot air balloon going around? You know, I'm not saying, you know, whatever. Huh? Who is in charge of the balloon? Well, that would be Simon, but. Are you saying... He is not saying anything. Mr. Keys, you flew this balloon in the middle of the night, did you not? I do occasionally practice alone at night. It's not much of a, I'm not much of a pilot, though. I'm a little clumsy. <laughs> so for practice, you'll do something as challenging as flying a balloon at night? Wouldn't that be rather difficult for someone who's clumsy and not much of a pilot? Then, what do you think I was doing, Mr. Edgeworth? I think you were too busy killing people, and kidnapping, and people putting people to sleep. You brought Kate to the roof of the Grand Tower. In order to frame her for the murder of Jill Crane. Not a single security camera recorded Kate using the elevator. Therefore, the only way she could have gotten up there was through flight. And the only one who could have flown her up there was you, Mr. Keys. No way! Mr. Edgar, how can you say that? That's not all. You drugged John the garbage pickup and kidnapped him. Wasn't that why you were late when you came to watch the trial of Patricia Rowland? No way! I have no idea, no idea what you're saying! There's no way I could do things like that! Please believe me, Mr. Edgeworth, please! I wanted to believe you. However, you have broken that trust yourself! That's horrible! Why would you say that? Didn't you once say that you would, you would trust me? That you believe in me? We did, but then you lied to us like an asshole. Now, it's just like, just like Justice for All, guys. At the very end. Phoenix and Maya trusting... Matt, and well, look how that happened. This is just hard. I, mm. I mean, they can't be anyone else, right? I'm so sad. Those words were all lies. It wasn't a lie. We really did trust you. Kay, even you? You said we were like birds of a feather, and yet... I'm hurt, Kay. You've hurt me deeply. I... Oh... Hey, Mr. Edgeworth, maybe Simon isn't a bad guy after all. Objection. No, I think he's still using us. I see. So that's how you operate. I understand now. All too well. No matter who you face, you find an emotional weakness and exploit it. You guide each person towards the outcome you desire without them even noticing it. That is how you were able to mastermind this entire case. I may have fallen for your tricks before, but not this time. Simon Keys, I indict you. Indict you, I mean. Hmm. So it's come to this after all. Oh my god. You were, you were always so full of confidence, Mr. Edgeworth. But I rather like that, because now I can rip that confidence to shreds. He's kind of creepy now. What the hell? Oh boy. Really? 
Really? Huh. Good work, everyone. Ugh. His personality has completely changed. So, the animal tamer couldn't, who, who could not tame animals. That was all facade as well. This is the real Simon Keys. Simon? That's not true, is it? Truth or lie? What difference does it make? Huh? Mr. Adrov just made, made, made me a little upset, that's all. <laughs> Look how Shalani, how not Shalani is, like, doesn't give a damn in the world. You'll take responsibility for upsetting me, right? This guy... It's true. I practiced the balloon two nights ago. That photo must have been taken with the, when the balloon and I... When the, ugh, that photo must have been taken when the balloon and I passed near the building. I often fly around that area for advertising purposes. There's nothing unusual about that, right? You often fly around the Grand Tower in a balloon? Yeah, even the circus needs to advertise. Regina, is that true? Well, yep. It was Simon's job to advertise using the balloon. Most people who live around here should have seen it. So that's why it wasn't odd to see a hot air balloon. Okay. That balloon was used in a crime we are investigating. Like I said, it's just a coincidence. I simply happened to pass by a Grand Tower when this photo was taken. I shall determine whether or not it was coincidence after I hear your full story. Okay, let's see what he has to say. First, let's check if I even have anything. Because I'm not really sure if anything kind of stood out there. So I'm going to see if I have anything that kind of stands out. Mm. Let's see here. I don't think I have anything at the moment. At least I don't think so. So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna be pressing. Press the balloon. I'm I'm gonna press on everything. Was the balloon launched from from this tent? There's a nice big park near the Sunshine Coliseum. I always launch a balloon there. I see. Well, in that case, how do you transport a balloon to the park? Well, it's too heavy to carry by hand. It weighs several hundred pounds. And yet, it can fly in the sky. Amazing, isn't it? I asked you how you transport it. Now answer the question. Aw, oh, I can't even make some small talk? <laughs> You're mean, Mr. Edgeworth. I use the truck. The balloon is loaded onto the back of the truck. A truck? Yeah, the last time I took the truck and the balloon out were two, was two days ago. Hmm, I cannot overlook this piece of testimony. So, the last time I took the truck and the balloon out was two days ago. Now, don't we have the truck here? It says it was used today. Why are you lying, asshole? Objection! The truck you put the balloon into. Was it blue by any chance? Blue? <laughs> so what if it was? Today we saw a blue truck carrying a large basket. If that truck was just so happened to be yours, then your claim that you last used it two days ago becomes a lie. Agent Lang! Oh, Emma! What the hell? Yay! Mr. Edgeworth, I finally found you! I've been searching for you forever, uh, uh, for you ever since the uh, incident yesterday. I dashed right after... Uh, Kay contacted me just a little while ago. Prosecutor Edgeworth, the thing you were looking for. I found it. It was placed in a blue truck in the dressing room parking lot. Sweet. Blue truck. As I suspected. That truck is without a doubt the one I saw today. Oh, so that's his thing now. Objection! There are a number of blue trucks out there, you know? Who's to say you're not mistaken for a different one? It's definitely that one. I, I got a good look at it. Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, was that? It wasn't me. Who the hell said that? That was definitely our voice. Okay, words have no strength without evidence to back them up. Oh, that's Mr. Edgeworth's voice. Evidence, present evidence. Do I have any evidence? To prove that this was the truck that I saw today? 
Hmm. Why are you... It was cold. Sometime. Yeah, there you go. What could prove that this is the truck that I saw? Um... Oh, yeah, his fingerprints, because he touched it. I was, I was overthinking that one. I like the dusted truck for fingerprints. Eh? Fingerprints? What for? I don't see any point in that. A certain person's fingerprints should be left on this truck. And these fingerprints will prove that this truck was parked in front of the Grand Tower today. Those fingerprints prove this truck was in front of the tower. Not other than mine, because I touched it. Edgeworth, your fingerprints? Indeed. Earlier today, I touched a truck at the plaza in front of the Grand Tower. I'd like to dust for my prints. Emma, might I request a uh, scientific investigation? That's what I'm here for. Just leave it to me. All right, we're all set. Go ahead, Mr. Edgeworth. Wait, you want me to do it? Of course. Who else but Mr. Edgeworth would be up to the task? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Um, all right then. You're a scientist. Why don't you just do it yourself? Because we got to interact with the game, Edgeworth. Come on now. First, we sprinkle some aluminum powder over the area you want to investigate. Like this. Memories. Just like the first game. Did we do this before? Was it in Apollo Justice? Yeah, we, we, I think we did some Apollo Justice as well. I know we did a whole paint. Well, like the whole, yeah, we did We did stuff like this. Touch the skin to sprinkle aluminum powder. The powder will adhere to the fingerprints, so once you sprinkle enough... You blow it away. Blow it away? Yeah, just blow on it with your breath. Whoosh. Blow the powder away by blowing into the microphone. Who's he talking about? Who's he talking to? He's talking to me? What microphone? Got it? Yes, I think so. I guess we'll do it for real this time. Just so you know, the key point is to sprinkle the powder all over. Okay. I'll save this for the next episode. Um, I don't think I have to do anything extra to get this to work. I might have to mess around with my emulation settings, but uh, this shouldn't be an issue. But man, what a reveal! But what I want now, what I want to know now is why do what you did, you know? Because I can't think of anything unless I'm totally m missing something huge here. In any case, guys, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. I'll see you guys later.